Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. We're gonna do your current love situation. We're gonna see what energy comes through here for you. There will be an extended reading link in the description box and in the comments. If this reading resonates with you, you can check it out. I will look at the next four weeks energy moving forward from this reading and I'll dive deeper into the person that you are connecting with. So with that, let's get started. We're going to see what the energy is here for you and your current love situation. If you do like this type of reading, let me know by liking, commenting, engaging. Uh, that shows me that I should continue uh, these readings. And let me know who this is you are connecting with here so or where you're from huh one of those two let's get started here all right hmm somebody is giving you uh mixed signals here uh because you got the heart fog here this is someone who could be giving you mixed signals so this is definitely that hot and cold energy but I'm gonna tell you, oh my gosh, look at this. I really strongly get, it says only you, but what I really get from this energy is they only have eyes for you, Virgo, okay? But they're not letting on too much, right? They're giving you hot and cold or mixed signals, even if you're in separation with this person, okay? Now, you got here purifying, okay? I'm going to say here, I get a couple things with purifying. Now, this could tell me that you and this person, there's some healing. That heart fog could be uh, somebody who was feeling confused about this connection. And, you know, that could have caused something to happen here where there caused distance. But I also get here, this could be somebody who you have a very healing energy for this person is what I'm getting there. Now, bottom of the deck here, you do have a uh, spirit. So this is signs and synchronicities. So both you and this person right now could be getting signs and synchronicities, kind of making you feel like this is just not any connection that you have been in before. That's the energy I really get there, okay? Now, it also could be a time for those of you, maybe you're feeling you're going through a difficult time, then it's an energy of spirit letting you know that they're there for you and that they're protecting you. So let's pull the tarot. Let's see what else comes through for you, Virgo. So I'm gonna pull the tarot. We'll see what messages come through. We'll clarify what's needed. We're gonna see how you see this person, how they see you, the mutual energy. And then we'll go from there. Let's see what the energy is here. What else can you share with Virgo about their current love situation? All right. Oh, something's changing unexpectedly here. You've got the Knight of Pentacles and you've got the Tower. You could get, this tells me here, an unexpected message from this person. This also could tell me that something's changing. Something here that happened that was unexpected. We'll see because we're going to clarify. Let's see what else. Okay, we have justice. Could tell me um, communication, bringing a situation into balance. Okay, somebody wanting to maybe come out of this energy of the heart fog and be more reliable and consistent. But let's see what else we have. We have the sun card. So we've got strong Libra. We have strong Leo. We got Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. So I'm going to pull the rest of your cards, and then we're going to go through them. All right. Yeah, communication, I called it. Yep, you're going to hear from this person. Or it's an unexpected energy shift here. Yep. All right. So I feel like this is somebody like there's been some imbalance. There's been like a back and forth with this person is really what I get. I do feel like there is some distance here or somebody who you just feel they give you mixed signals or it also can be that energy is somebody who kind of blocks their feelings and their emotions. Okay, so it, it's also that energy like you just kind of feel at times you don't know where you stand with this person. But you have the Knight of Pentacles and you have the Three of Pentacles. This tells me I feel like something's changing here. You're going to hear from this person 
is really what I get. We're going to clarify this three of pentacles. We're going to see what's what's working here because this is an energy of you know people coming together working together it can be taking the steps to build a foundation you have the tower and the eight of wands see i told you here they only have eyes for you virgo this is somebody who is fixated on you this is someone who's attached by you uh, you may have those beautiful eyes that they feel hypnotized, I'm going to say, because this is also a hypnotized energy. So we'll see what this tower energy is about or this shift here with the eight of wands. You have justice and you also have here the hierophant. Some of you, it's definitely an energy of healing. This could be a situation where somebody wants to heal a relationship. Or somebody here has a confession, okay, about... I'm going to say here too, it could be about their, their beliefs, their values. Um, it could also be healing, um, you know, a relationship. I think I already said that, but we're going to clarify. We'll get more. You have uh, the sun card and you also have the full card. Look at that. This morning I was meditating. I heard the song. I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. And now I'm hearing, I'm walking on sunshine here with the full card and uh, the Sun card, strong Leo energy. I feel like there's someone here who's getting ready to take that risk, that leap of faith to come towards you. It definitely feels like a message. Somebody who maybe you felt like you don't know where you stand with this person or where things are at. That's that, you know, that heart fog. But there's definitely an energy of something coming to coming into balance or coming into alignment here, strong Aquarius energy. So let's uh, start clarifying and see if we can get some more details around this. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. This person's taking action. They're taking action I feel a, some sort of message or they're going to do something to show you that they can be consistent, that they're coming out of that uh, kind of mixed signal energy. Look at that King of Cups. This is someone who has feelings for you. Okay, but I feel like this is somebody who, it, you know, this is the King of Cups isn't always vulnerable. So somebody I feel who wants to come together, you. this is what they're planning here with the two of wands. This is someone who already has the intention. It's now about this person taking action, I feel, to show you here, show you consistency. Tell me more about, okay, before I could do anything, we have the Empress and we have the Eight of Cups. This is someone I feel they're taking action here to explore the possibilities. They're walking towards that empress energy. So they're seeing you as an empress. They're seeing uh, definitely a very abundant energy. Look at that two of cups. See, this is somebody who does have feelings for you. I said it, only you. Someone who feels a very strong connection with you. Tell me more about the tower. Tell me more about this tower. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups and bottom of the deck here, you do have the wheel. All right. Well, it does feel here that something happened. Okay, there, it's an energy of feeling regret, an energy here too of feeling like maybe they lost you. But see, that's why they're coming around here. They're trying to make the effort here to show you something different because they do want to change things here with the wheel. They may be seeing you as a bit of a mystery here with the high priestess, but it also can be this person listening to their higher self, listening to their intuition. Let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. This card wanted to come out. And the Queen of Pentacles, your energy. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. They see the potential here. They see that you are worth the investment here. This card's popping out too. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. A lot of Pentacles here, your energy. They want things to change because look, you've got the Death Rebirth card here, Transformation. 
and the magician. They want to make things happen with you. Yep, look at that. Knight of Cups energy. This is somebody who wants the opportunity. Now, I'm going to say here, if it doesn't resonate with a past person, this just could be somebody that, um, you know, maybe they have been in this emotional fog because they have been through something very disappointing. The tower, maybe they went through a divorce or a bad relationship, you know, recently. And now, um, you know, it does feel like that the energy is changing. But a lot of you, I feel like this is someone that has regrets about something here that happened. Tell me more about justice. Tell me more about justice. Okay, Four of Cups. Yeah, this is someone, they don't want to miss the opportunity with you. I'm really strongly getting there with that Four of Cups. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. Yeah, a lot of you, there's something here about healing a relationship or healing a situation wanting potential here for a relationship this person's higher self is telling them this this four of cups here tells me that this could be somebody who is very hesitant uh, when it came to love this may be somebody you felt rejected um, but the justice card here tells me this person's coming around to heal this because they do only have eyes for you. That's what it's showing me there. Tell me more about the Fool card. Tell me more about the Fool card. And then we're going to get into how they see you and how you see this person. Tell me more about the Fool card. Look at that. Look at that. I said, I'm walking on sunshine here. And here's the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody who's taking that risk and leap of faith. They see potentially that you and this person could build a future together. And look what's on the bottom of the deck. The lovers, Gemini energy. And you also have here the Knight of Cups. This person feels a very profound, strong bond to you. They feel a lot of chemistry. And it's not just that. This person has feelings for you. Page of Swords. I would not be surprised if this person... Is, has been spying on you too, keeping an eye on you, right? Ace of Swords, okay? Spying on you before they come forward with communication. So interesting, uh, Virgo. Let's see uh, how you are seeing this person. How is Virgo seeing this person right now? Okay, you got here wide open. So this is an energy that you desire this person, but you also want to know what their intentions are, okay? So you may feel like right now, like this is, I think I said it earlier, that this could be somebody who has been non-committal. Uh, you're not too clear where you stand with this person. Things are kind of foggy, is that energy. Let's see how this person sees you right now. Okay, huh? You got helpful change. So this is somebody who knows that they need to change things here. I definitely get a very uh, transformational energy. Um, they may also see you as very helpful. This can be, you know, helpful change. Maybe you did something that helped this person change their life. You know, that's going to be a specific message for someone. Um, I'm also going to, I also get the energy here with the signs, the synchronicities. They may feel a very spiritual connection with you that they can't explain. And I'm going to say here, the mutual energy is the path to plenty. This is a card of abundance. It's a card of expansion. It's also manifesting. So you and this person could definitely be manifesting each other at this time. Wow. So Virgo, I am going to take this to the extended. Uh, we're going to see how this plays out. Uh, again, we're going to look at the next uh, four weeks energy and dive deeper into this person. So I hope to see you there. Link is in the description box and in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.